Live, the news you count on, NBC2. News at 11. It went down all the way down to all of his vital structures. So his esophagus, his trachea, all of his important blood vessels and nerves. This poor puppy was saved just in time. It was left abandoned for so long, its collar was digging into its neck, leaving a big gash. Thankfully, someone spotted the dog in a field in Hendry County and called police. You're watching NBC2. I'm Peter Bush. And I'm Kyla Gaylor. Tonight, NBC2's Gage Golding is local in LaBelle, where the dog named Stewie is already on the way to recovery, but needs your help to find who did this to him. So he smiles, but he smiles so hard that he squints his eyes at the same time. He cheeses. It's a smile that's infectious, not to mention impressive for this eight-month-old puppy named Stewie. He was just abandoned in a remote area outside Clewiston, about a half mile from the Palm Beach County line. I get out there, sure enough, dog had some significant uh, lacerations on its bottom neck. He wasn't tied up or anything, just hanging out next to this water pump for a sugar field. This little pup pumped to finally see somebody. You could tell he was pretty uh, excited to be uh, rescued. After getting a good look at Stewie's neck, he knew this was serious. His skin was worn all around, but the bottom of his neck was the worst. The gash so deep, his esophagus and trachea were exposed. And it kind of shows that that collar had been in there for quite some time, um, just, just seeing how deep that went. The Calusa Humane Society took Stewie in. Here, the vets say it's clear he was neglected. The once pint-sized pup never got a bigger collar. The tiny one he wore digging into his fur, his skin growing around the collar, almost like a tree growing around a rope. Surgery was the only way to help him. Whenever you did this procedure, what did you do that you had to stitch up? So uh, it had a quite a different look before. It was all open, really infected. Um, of course, his hair was all matted around. That was on Wednesday. Fast forward 24 hours later, Stewie is back to his playful and smiley self. He's a great boy all around. These stitches will heal, and when his fur grows back, it will cover the scar that remains. This small shelter is fronting the nearly $900 bill to help Stewie. We get it back um, as, as this reward, and it's, it's so worth it just seeing him being able to act like a little puppy again. Clewiston Animal Control needs your help to figure out who did this to Stewie. They could face criminal charges or, at the very least, a big fine. A lot of paperwork and a lot of citations that this person could possibly get. Stewie will heal with a foster family before being ready for adoption in about two weeks. Reporting local tonight in Clewiston, Gage Golding, NBC2.